Hi, my name is Jesse, and today we're going to be covering how to monitor Linux servers in Nagios XI using the Linux server monitoring wizard. So first things first, we have to go to the configure tab, which is where you do all of your configuring in Nagios XI, and click configuration wizards. We'll filter by the Linux wizards and press Linux server. Now we'll enter the IP address of our Linux server, mine is at 4.72, and we can select the distribution that that IP address is running, or that server is running, mine is sent to us. We'll press next, and we're presented with some agent installation instructions. You will need to install an agent on your remote Linux box. You can download the agent and view the instructions here. Now we select all the services that we'd like to monitor. These are all basic services, like checking the um, update status. Uh, we have a ping service, a load service, etc. We can also select any uh, disk mount points we'd like to monitor. I'll monitor slash home and slash var as well. Now we can select any services that we'd like to monitor. I'll monitor these services because I know that they're on the box. And any processes as well. Press next and you'll be presented with some advanced configuration options, but we can go ahead and skip these for the purposes of this demonstration. We'll press finish. The uh, configuration will be applied and reloaded with our host and all of its services, our brand new host and all of its services. Now what we do is we press the search icon up here, and we can type in the IP address of that new server that we've added, and click on the host. When we click on the host, we're presented with our new host, 4.72, and all of the appropriate services. We also have uh, our new var disk usage service, which is an appending status. We can force this check to get results back immediately. So it easily is uh, as easy as just pressing for some immediate check and then we get some results back in just a couple of seconds here. Click on the blue leaflet to go back to that host and all of its services. And of course in Nagios XI you get graphing by default. So for instance, you could press load and because it hasn't been running for very long, we don't have much information, but you can see we have an interactive graph. And that's just how easy it is. And that's how you monitor Linux servers in Nagios XI. If you have any questions about what I covered today, we have a support forum at support.nagios.com forum. And of course, you can check out our related content in the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.